morning. Um, so again, apologies about the delay. Um, I am uh, just checking in with everyone and making sure everyone understands what you're doing um, with altered books, um, that you have materials. I will be at school on Friday, so um, I can get together materials to leave for you to pick up next week, or you can come in and meet me. I plan to be there like um, probably from like 8.15 until, I don't know, maybe noon. So most of the morning, and I know that there is transportation on Fridays. So if anybody needs to get to school to get materials, to come in the room and work, to clear off something from your shelf, um, I'm going to be there. Um, I'm definitely going to be there 8.30 to 11, and I will post that. Um, last time I didn't get out of there until nearly noon, though, so it may take a little while. I will have a six-year-old with me. He is the one who destroys my, um, my scheduling. Um, and in like three minutes, he has another virtual meeting. So I have to get him. See, that's my alarm. So um, I know everybody at home is also dealing with crazy, um, with crazy schedules and everything. But I just wanted to give everyone a chance to check in, ask questions, make sure you understood what's going on with your lessons. My goal for your lessons is that every day or every week you make something and you submit evidence of what you are making on Friday. So let's say you start a clay project. Let's say this week you start a clay cylinder and you're working on it and you get it pretty, pretty far along, but you're not finished by Friday. Stop on Friday, take a picture, submit that. Sometimes things take longer and that's okay. Um, and then next week I would see your, your, your evidence of work would be the finished cylinder with decorated and finished and refined and everything. So, the same with the box. If the box took you a long time to do, maybe just um, take two weeks and evidence one week of in progress work, and then the final, the second week is the final project. Um, with the altered book, if you are making an artwork in your altered book that week, you're good. That's fine. Just it's just you're giving me evidence that you have made something, even if it's not 100% finished. Um, does anybody have any questions about that? Everyone's still on mute. Everyone's being really quiet. No? No questions? All right. Um, this is why I don't do more Google Meets, because this has been my experience so far that most people are pretty quiet. And if you don't want to talk, talk that's fine. Um, I want you to be comfortable. Um, but I do want you to know that I am available, even though I might be a little scatty and 10 minutes late occasionally. Um, I am here and I'm checking my messages as much as possible. Um, I'm also spending my evenings renovating a house and I have a six year old. And so it's a little bit harder than when we are just at school for me as well as for you, I know. Um, but I am available to answer questions and, um, you know, I want to keep a line of communication open. So um, I think I took a picture with everyone's participation. I'm going to post this um, quick meeting um, later on. I, I don't think there's any necessarily um, repeatable instructions, but if you do need to revisit what I've just said, I'm going to post the video. Um, and then people who did not attend today can just answer a question about that. Um, another thing I would like you to know is that since people tend to things in late. I'm okay with late grades, but when things get turned in late, I don't always see them right at the time. They get buried in a lot of emails. And so even though I'm trying every couple of days to go back and check anything that's been turned in, um, if I can't grade them all together as a class, if I have to go back in and like submit late work, I don't always see everything. So if at any time you see that you've turned something in and it's been a week or so and I have not entered the submitted grade, um, just send me an email because it may just be that I did not see that you turned it in late. Google Classroom is great, but it is hard to see when people turn in things late. And so I'm trying to go back and just kind of double check any, anybody who's turned things in late, um, but I do miss people occasionally. So please, please let me know, check your infinite campus. Um, 
And if there is any anything that um, I haven't entered and it's been a while, just send me an email, even if it, you, you've already sent me an email and I still haven't done it. Um, the amount of emails I get is crazy. So sometimes when they're off the screen, I don't catch them. Um, so please make sure to contact me and um, make sure I get your grades in because I want to keep everything updated and I also am fine with you being a little bit late on things. It's just you might have to help me out sometimes. Okay. Um, that's all I really had for you all. I just wanted to be able to talk to you face to screen. Um, if you have any questions, let me know now. If you are totally clear on everything, then um, you can go ahead and sign off. If you want to stick around for a couple minutes and talk to me about a project or a question, let me know. I'm here.